Okay, we had a request for a uh, one more problem involving slope and rates, and I'm not really sure which which problem from the homework that was addressing. So here's a generic problem that covers a lot of what we've talked about in class. I've got some data for a, a game store selling game machines based on month, how many sales they had in that month or over that period, and we're going to be looking to see what the rate of change is. Over what interval do we have the largest change? So um, these are all related to slope. Remember that slope is the difference in y divided by the difference in x. And so let's take a look at this first interval up here. This interval between June and how we did in August. So we take the second y minus the first, so 34 minus 40. And the second x minus the first x, 8 minus 6. And so that gives me, let's see, I've got uh, negative 6 divided by 2, or a change of negative 3 game consoles per month. So over that two month period, we actually sold less games each month. We were seeing a downward trend. Negative numbers indicate a downward slope. And now let's take a look at the second interval. And that's the interval between September and August. So we take the y value minus the x, y2 minus y1, subtract the two y's. So 50 minus 34. Let me subtract here. So 9 minus 8. So that gives me a positive 6, this time over 1. So we saw a change of 6 games per month sold. So we're in a positive direction. We're going up. And it looks like it's a, we're going up faster than we were going down in our games per month trend. And now last but not least, I've got this interval. We don't take another recording until we get into December. We skipped for some reason October, November. We have a number on December here, so let's see. 71 games sold that month. Oops, not 74, 71. Get that out of the way there. Okay. 71 minus 50. And now we do the two X's. 12 minus 9. Now let's see what we get. 71 minus 50 puts me at 21. And here I've got a 12 minus 9, that's a difference of 3. And so that's a rate of 7 game systems per month. Now since that's the biggest slope, that would be my greatest rate of change. If I were to graph this, so here's my, my graph. Now let's see, here is month 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so here's 9, 10, 11, and 12. Let's say this is 50 here and this is 100. So here's 50 and there's 100 games per month. We're going to mark off the sales. So let's see, there's 25 right here. This would be 40. And then 34 would be here, 50, well that's right there, and 71 is right there. That's a little low for that point. Let's move that up just a pinch. There we go, that's a little nicer. And this would be our graph view to plot these points. That's what it would look like. And this is the gap that would be the steepest. Now we also see this negative compared to the positive. So here we're seeing a negative trend. Something happened in August and now we're selling more because the slope is positive. Hopefully that clears things up a bit. And as always, feel free to post more questions between now and Monday's quiz.